Have you heard about custom visuals, but you're not sure where to get them or how to use them? Then this one's for you. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in a Cube. Today we're gonna to talk about custom visuals, where to get them, how to use them in your reports. A couple of months ago, we announced that custom visuals were now available for use in Power BI and that we would be contributing a new visual every week. And custom visuals can be created by you. A lot of these have been created by the community and that's done via a GitHub repository for the visuals project. And via that project, we are pulling in items that the community makes alongside of items that we're doing on our side. And so to start with using custom visuals, you need to go get the custom visual. To do that, we want to go to the visual gallery. You can get there by going to visuals.powerbi.com. In there, you will see a list of the custom visuals available to you. You can go ahead and click on one of those visuals and then click on download. This will download a PBI viz file. The PBI viz file is the definition of how that visual works with Power BI. Once you have that, you can go into either Power BI Desktop or go into the actual report designer inside of the Power BI service site itself. And in the visual selector, you'll see an ellipse. If you click on that, it'll prompt you to import a custom visual. Click on import and then select the PBI viz file that you downloaded. And then that custom visual will be available in the Power BI visual selector. From there, you can select the custom visual, drag your fields in, and then see that visualization in your report. After that, you can save the report. If you're in Power BI Desktop, you can go and publish that to the Power BI service. If you're already in the Power BI service, that item is available already for you. If another user opens up the Power BI Desktop file, they may get a prompt indicating that there are custom visuals with inside of the file, and they'll have to allow or enable those in order to continue and to see those visualizations. Okay, that was a quick look at how to use custom visuals and how to get up and running with them. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you using any custom visuals? Which one's your favorite so far? There are a lot of them. And so hopefully you're taking advantage of those in addition to what's there in the base Power BI product to enable better insights for your business. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item such as this, where I take a look at a feature, how something works, or how to troubleshoot something. And every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I take a look at the last week, and I find the items that were interesting to me and share those out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.